if the University of Missouri has a quarterback controversy, count Matty Mock and Drew Locke among those who aren't aware of it. In fact, Matty Mock is adamant that he's not threatened by Drew Locke and his remarkable performance only a few months into his college career. I just don't, you know, I, I'm a guy that's going to compete no matter what. It, it doesn't matter who's out there. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be ready to play at my best at all times. Um, so, so so, when the competition does come, you know, we're going to be ready. But right now, that there's no competition. You know, he, I, my job is, is to make sure he's ready to go at all times. If anything, Matty Mock has gone out of his way to help Drew Locke get acclimated to the college game. Um, you know, th this year it was one of our goals to do a lot more, at least two more hours extra a week. So, so you know, me, me, Drew, Coach Bradley, and, and Coach Hill kind of have our time slots there at night after. Just after, before you? Yeah, after after we're done with, with tutoring or whatever, and, and we're kind of going over extra stuff just to make sure that our reads are, are right and, and the crisp um, progressions are right and to make sure we know what we're doing. And, and whether it's third and one, third and three to six, third, third and long, whatever it is, we just got to know what, what we have to do as an offense, what plays we want to run and who we want to get the ball to. What area has Matty Mock helped Drew lock in the most? We'll let Drew tell you that. Progressions, without a doubt, just knowing that i got to get the ball out. I've mentioned multiple times about that sack, and that's a big deal to us here in the quarterback room. No, no loss of yards, you know, get the ball out if it's not there, but really you got to one to two to three, and if not there, then check it down to the back, and that was a huge thing to me and the, as far as the summer goes and getting used to that. Locke appreciates all the feedback Mock can offer. He'll tell me when I messed up, which is good. You know, I'll completely for that. But then at the same time, he'll tell me when I'm doing good. So. Yeah. When Locke threw a 78-yard touchdown pass in the fourth quarter to Tyler Hunt on Saturday, nobody was happier for him than Mock. For sure, you know, I saw him roll out to the left, and, and initially I thought he was coming down to Keon, and I was, was kind of like, kind of nervous there for a second. And then, and then he he saw Tyler, Tyler scored, and, and you know that's what you want to do. His first time going out there through a, a 80 80 yard touchdown, yeah. something like that, and, and you know I, I couldn't be any more happy for him. You know, you, you could saw that his emotions were high, and and, and that's what you got to do. He, he's a playmaker. He he knows what he's doing. He saw the guy downfield, and and he just got to keep continuing to do that. Um, you know, I, I was real impressed, but you know, at the same time, I, I expected it. You know, he, he, like you said, like everybody says, you know, he, he's a he's a very smart quarterback. He knows what he's doing. He, he has a great grasp on the offense and, and what we want to do. And you know, he's just got to keep continuing to get better. And you know, whatever I got to do to help him, whatever the coach has got to do to help him, we're gonna do. Because like I said earlier, also, you know, he, he's one snap away from having to do that the whole time. Mock knows all too well the perils of playing quarterback in the SEC. He stepped in for four games in 2013 when James Franklin suffered a separated shoulder and has always been appreciative of the fact that James was there to help groom him and get him ready for that opportunity. I feel James was, was probably the main one that, that did do that. And, you know, it's kind of the same thing with, with me and Drew now. Whoever that starting quarterback is and, and the next guy in, you know, he, he's got to be he's got to be ready to go. And that's the big emphasis for me with Drew is, is he's got to understand he, he is one snap away from, from being in there full time. Man. Locke admitted to being nervous for the Southeast Missouri game, but he sure seemed like he was ready for that debut. It blew me out of the water, to be honest. It was one of the coolest experiences of my life. And, I can't wait for you know some even better ones. Locke, of course, wasn't the only one thrilled with his performance against Southeast Missouri. They were really excited. My dad, I think, tried to hold it back. You know, he's a big macho guy. Doesn't like to show his emotions to me, but he was very happy at the same time. You know, gave me a big hug and a high five. But my mom was more of the uh, pretty open about her feelings, and my grandma too. She would, I think she might have shed a tear. Who knows? <laughs>